Let's see how we can determine the rate of convective heat transfer from a solid surface to a surrounding fluid. Recall from our introductory module on convective heat transfer that the rate of convective heat transfer is given simply by Newton's law of cooling which is Q equals H times A times delta T. In this rather simple expression, A is the surface area and delta T is the temperature difference between the surface and the surrounding fluid. Now usually those two items, the surface area and delta T are known. The unknown quantity is most often this term H. H is the convective heat transfer coefficient. Recall also from our previous module that the units of H are watts divided by square meter degree Celsius. Because the fluid movement is often complicated, the analytical treatment of the mathematics involved becomes very tedious and the value of the convective heat transfer coefficient is obtained using an empirical approach. Here we will examine this empirical approach to solve problems involving convective heat transfer. Empirical approach in studying convective heat transfer involves conducting a large number of experiments and organizing the results from those experiments into compact equations that can be then universally used. For this purpose, and for conditions where the fluid is being forced to move, for example with a fan or a pump, there are three dimensionless numbers that are used. So we will examine those dimensionless numbers first here in this module. These numbers are Reynolds number, Nussel number and Parental number. Let's examine each number separately. You may recall from the study of fluid flow that Reynolds number is expressed as rho times V times DC divided by mu, where rho is the density, V is the velocity, and uh, D C is the characteristic dimension. And mu is the viscosity. The terms in the numerator are related to the inertial forces of the moving fluid. Recall from physics that inertia of a moving object is related to mass and velocity. The denominator is related to the viscous forces. Thus Reynolds number is a ratio between inertial forces and viscous forces. Let's uh, substitute units for each of these quantities to see whether they actually cancel out or not. Well we know that rho, the units of rho are kilogram per cubic meters, V the units are meter per second, DC the units are meter and viscosity can be expressed as kilogram per meter second. So when we write these units we can actually cancel out meters uh, with meters, kilograms with kilogram and seconds with second. So there, is, there are no units left. In other words, Reynolds number is a dimensionless number. 
the quantity itself gives us an indication of the role of the viscous and inertial forces in the flow of the fluid. If this quantity is less than 2100, then we call it laminar flow. If the quantity is 10,000, then we call it turbulent flow. And between 2100 and 10,000, we call it transitional flow. The second dimensionless number that is important here is Nusselt number. So let's consider a very thin layer of liquid right next to the solid surface. If this layer is sticking to the surface and not moving, then the heat transfer through this layer is by conduction. Let's say that the thickness of this layer is L and the temperatures across this very thin stationary layer is are T1 and T2. Then from Fourier's law, we may write Q conduction equals minus K A delta T over L. And if the layer is moving, then the rate of heat transfer due to convection will be H times A times delta T. So if we divide Q convection by Q conduction, we get H A delta T divided by K A delta T and then divided by L. And by cancelling out the area terms, the delta T, we are left with H L over K. If we substitute the units, we will have watts per square meter Celsius for H, meter for L, and watts per meter Celsius for the thermal conductivity. And we notice that all of the terms cancel out. So we get Nusselt number as a dimensionless number. From this ratio, we get a qualitative understanding of Nusselt number. It tells us as to how much the rate of heat transfer and convection will increase compared with conduction. If Nusselt number equals 1, then there will be no enhancement due to convection. But let's say if Nusselt number is 10, then the rate of heat transfer in convection will increase by 10 times that of conduction. Thus, by achieving convection or movement of fluid, we can increase the rate of heat transfer compared to conduction. The third dimensionless number is called parental number. This number gives us an understanding of the thickness of the two boundary layers. The hydrodynamic boundary layer and the thermal boundary layer. Parental number is the ratio between the molecular diffusivity of momentum and molecular diffusivity of heat. Since molecular diffusivity is expressed by a property called kinematic viscosity and the molecular diffusivity of heat is expressed by a term called thermal diffusivity, we have parental number equals the kinematic viscosity, the symbol is nu, and divided by thermal diffusivity with a symbol called alpha. Now kinematic viscosity is the absolute viscosity divided by density. So it's mu over rho and thermal diffusivity K over rho Cp. So if we go ahead and substitute these, we find that the parental number will be mu Cp over K.
And again, if we substitute the units for each of these quantities, for mu, the units are kilograms per meter second. For CP, the units are joules per kilogram degree C. And for thermal conductivity, the units are joules per second meter degree C. And we see that the kilograms cancel out, seconds cancel out, joules cancel out, and meters cancel out, so everything cancels out, and we are left with a dimensionless number. If uh, Prandtl number is equal to 1, then that means that the thickness of the bound, both boundary layers is the same. If parental number is much less than 1, then the molecular diffusivity of heat is much larger than that of momentum. For water, the parental number is around 10. And for air, the parental number is around 0 0.7. So in summary, we have reviewed three dimensionless numbers that play a role in determining heat transfer in convection where there is movement of fluid as the fluid is either heated or cooled.